Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin is attacking now key resistance here at 27,820. Um, I won't change my wave count until we have seen a substantial increase above that resistance level. Yeah. Um, so from that point of view, um, I, I go with what we have. Okay. Um, just wanted to explain again, you know, what, what are the targets for the fifth wave down if we get it? What does price need to do for me to consider something more bullish other than a wave for pullback? And what are actually the targets for the larger third wave to the upside that we expect as long as Bitcoin is holding 22K? So let's talk about that. Um, first of all, let's focus on the lower degree or shorter time frame price action first. Yeah, let's first look at what is wave 4 doing at the moment and um, how high can it uh, really go without violating the um, idea of going for further once more, right? Okay, so let's do that. We zoom in first and then we take a look at the bigger picture. Um, here we obviously have our resistance, okay? We have our resistance levels here all the way up to the 50% Fibonacci retracement. And in this scenario, we are looking at the next resistance basically being around the corner, 27,820. If the wave four breaks above that level, it would question the imminent downtrend scenario that we get another wave five down. However, it would really need to take an impulsive move above that resistance and better clarity would be a break above this swing high here at 28,322. So at the moment, we clearly only have three waves. I see an A wave, I see a B wave and a potential C wave. Getting five waves seems unlikely based on the current structure. Yeah, we would need to have a one, a two, a three, a four and a five. However, we can consider it possible if we break above 28,322. If we get five waves up above resistance, ideally in a direct fashion, then I would consider an overall low has been made already here. It would, however, not be an ideal correction then because we would only have three waves down, not five as we would like to see it. That would mean the structure isn't perfect and it would mean we would need to count it as a WXY. However, if we get five waves up, that's a signal and we can wait for a three wave pullback to get confirmation the trend has shifted. If it makes a higher low, we can add some long positions here if we want to, to trade the third wave up. Okay, so that's sort of um, what I need to see in order to determine, okay, we, we, we still expect an, another move down. Basically, ideally for another move down, we stay below 27,824. Okay, a break above that, I can live with that, but then we need to, um, we need to still have three waves. If we get five waves, I think the prospects of another low reduce strongly. What is the target for one more low to the downside here? Well, it depends a little bit on how high we go now, but okay, let's say, first of all, we have Fibonacci support areas around 25.3K, that's the next one, 25.3. But also what we can do, we can take the length of the wave one, we go to the high of the wave four. Now, okay, you know, I don't know how high the wave four will really go. If we really go a little higher, then targets will go up as well a little bit, okay? Um, so, okay, so a key target here, for example, if we if we measure it against the latest high, and it might very well go a little higher in this C wave, then a key target would be, yeah, around that 50% uh, retracement, because, you know, you can see the one-to-one -one ratio, which is a common target for a fifth wave, points down to 25.2K, and the 50% retracement is at 25.3, so you have a bit of an overlap there. Another method to calculate targets is that we take the, the length of waves one through three and we go to the high of the wave four. Again, that can shift a little bit depending on how high we go. But here we have the 61.8 extension that also points sort of towards 25K, okay? Um, so that's certainly something um, important. And what I also wanted, so these are sort of, imminent downside targets if we turn down from here. And what I also wanted to highlight is if we zoom out a little bit, let's let's go to the four hour chart. And if we look at the four hour chart here, we can see the structure and we take a look at the bullish structure here in this video. 
So we have our wave one, which peaked back in February, then a wave two to the downside. We're now in a third wave. And basically what we've seen off the 10th of March low is a wave one up and a wave two down with a wave three to follow. Um, at the moment, we can see that, or well, we can see on this chart that the wave one was very long. That would give the impression that the third wave could also be a very, very long wave. Yeah, um, how would we measure that? We would typically take the length of the wave one and let's say we go really to 25K um, in this wave two, then target yeah, for the third wave roughly would be normally between the 1.618 extension and the 200% extension. So 43.7 to 48K. So I'm just, again, just want to highlight here, as long as we're holding the idea of a wave two, and we will hold it as long as Bitcoin is holding 22K. Um, we can expect those prices in the next rally to the upside. Okay. Um, at the moment, I don't think a low is in yet, but obviously price, if price convinces me by forming a five wave move to the upside and a subsequent three wave pullback, I have to change my view. Um, and really, I mean, looking at the bigger picture, the low could be in because it has reached our trend reversal area. However, taking into account that we haven't got five waves down in the C wave, which we, which we want to see, and that we haven't hit the 25.3K level, which is the 50% retracement, which is normally the minimum I wanna see in a wave two, I have to expect, okay, another low is coming at the moment, yeah? Uh, until price uh, turns direction and, and clearly shows it that we have bottomed already by forming five waves up and three waves down. Okay, there's not much more to add, so I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.